heavy and big characters. Exactly. Those are her speciality, honestly, and her ability to definitely take care of a lot of those heavyweights and those bigger characters with bigger hitboxes like Rob. And here it comes. He's out. Uh, Carson's actually not doing too bad of a job. He's able to use his gyro to the best of his ability and the down tilt as well. Here it comes into the up air, but unable to find its mark. The up smash whips completely. Gets the ground, but unfortunately not going to get the confirm off the up smash. I would have loved to have seen him read the mash and then go for the upper. That would have been the much better play, but unfortunately a full side, he will not be in. Back though for stage control and the stock. Ladies and gentlemen, you want to make sure you hold the DI the right way. Yeah, make sure you DI. If there's something that we've been seeing a lot go against Palutena, is let's DI properly yep. on these things and hits him with the jab. But here comes the ledge trap, but that Nair beats it out. You got to be careful for it. Yeah, and that's where we saw the last match some spot adaptation against Palutena, where you're usually, like I said, right, she's coming in with an arrow. She's got forward air. She's got neutral air. And there you we go. To, mm -hmm, you need to start respecting that. Yeah, I was able to get away with it, thankfully. And here comes a neutral special with that side tail coming into clutch for Palutena. He needs to get away from this, and here comes that ledge pressure. You can't be standing on those. Uh, you can't be standing on those platforms if you're going against Palutena. Yeah. Dash attack. Okay. Great sense of the explosive flame and the distance that we saw Evnet set it up there would have been great to see. If even if Rob did match to dodge it, Evnet would have been there for the cover up immediately. Good parry. Yeah, great parry, no follow up, unfortunately. He's just going to keep conditioning him. Hopefully, like you said, Eric, he conditions him just to mash, and it goes for a read on that. But so far, person in a little bit of a struggle right now. But what's he going to do? He went for the up smash, but Ebnet was able to interrupt it just in time, and Rob able to recover successfully. That giant was actually posing some problems, and he dropped his shield at the wrong time. I did like that, and then made that a no turn, way. right to go for jab. He made it to stop the gyro and then go for a grab, but unfortunately, he needed a little bit more power in that jab to take the, to take it from himself. Nair landing there, last hit, explosive flame. He's got good range oh. here to read Rob and see how he might be landing on the stage. Oh, he Almost interrupted it. Such a good call, but he interrupted the up special, and he's gonna go ahead and force him down in mashing. And this time, I think Person's starting to condition it because he stood completely still after exactly. that Exactly. Some small adaptation to be made right there. Neutral air. I would have loved to have seen a grab because he fell out. And like I said earlier, remember we talked? I talked about earlier how tennis narrow is not auto cancelable. You're actually able to grab her out from out of shield, even though it's a slow option. And person needs to be careful as well because right now he's eating a bunch of aerials, but hopefully he's got something in his bag of tricks because right now he's doing so much damage off of this Rob. Oh, and I he like, went for I the like hard it. read. I, I respect it from Edmund, right? He kind of stayed calm, didn't go for the uh, roll get up. Just immediately decided, you know what? Where I'm at is fine. And I already see that person has to set up air comes. down throw. He has to wait for it. And then he still misses the up air. Unable to find anything off now. He's looking for an up tilt. He throws out the laser, but now finds no marks. Here it comes. Oh, that could have been a huge punish. But here comes that down throw. Does he get the confirm? He doesn't get it either. But the down smash reach surely does. Person is doing such a good job. There's no way that kills. He's still alive, holds on to the DI. No. It's the range, it's the range, right? He threw in the gyro, and at that point, like, he was doing so fine. At this point, he needs to stay composed a little bit, because as soon as he got hit by the gyro, that's where he lost everything. Mm -hmm. And honestly, it was a little bit too far. Edmund did pretty well, though. Look at, if you think about it, right, he had the right setups. He understood how Rob was going. He knew that his opponent wasn't going to find those confirms. So for Edmund, it's honestly just staying calm and understanding, like, okay, Rob's got these options. I need to play around them. I need to go ahead and figure out what am I going to do against Gyro. Do I ignore Gyro? Do I try to grab Gyro? Seeing as how he tried to grab Gyro, that kind of gave M I'm sorry, Person a little bit of mileage off that. So maybe give it a little bit of respect. Backers are going to be good. Super armor is going to be good. And especially the counter projectiles as well. And it wasn't just that. Edmund couldn't grab the gyro. We yeah. saw many times he just got hit by it, and Person was able to capitalize off of that. Mm -hmm. So hopefully we see something different coming from Ebnet, because at first he was controlling the match so well, but it quickly fell apart from him. Yeah. Nice. I like him trying to set up the backer, but unfortunately that full blast of that laser will not be it. Another one, great opportunity. Like I said, you got some armor in there. Want to put it a little bit to use. That shield, make sure that you're going with the little blue part. But I love Person's gyro control. I really enjoy seeing it. He understands that Ebn has a hard time dealing with that projectile. Yeah. So he's able to abuse it. And that uh, directional air that's right towards the Rob, that's the least thing you want to be doing. And I like this fact that Person is not afraid to go for the down throw because most Robs like to save it for earlier. But currently, he's just forcing Ebn into these really uncomfortable positions where you would even start to roll into these projectiles. Nice, good neutral air. 
A great setup for the back end with a little bit of a dash dancing. One thing I want to see Ebnet start implementing, implementing in this game oh. plan here is looking for things like a Tomahawk grab, right? You do see Palatina go for a lot of aerials, but that does condition your opponent to start to fear them and to hold shield. And if you get to get that mix up, that's going to be a lot of mileage. Down throw, we'll see if Ebnet can get away from yeah, it. No. But this time, it's not going to be the deal. No, you can't do that, Ebnet. You can't whip out a smash pack that close to Rob. And sure, he gets the stock like that, but person is slowly already getting into Ebnet's head. Yep. Here's an air, a second one here. Gets a little bit of a corner carry. I like these empty hops there. Trying to see how person is going to be landing on the stage. Oh. A whiff grab, but here comes the Nair as well, trying to get the side smash for the early kill. So person able to find anything. He uses the back to cross up the shield, but thankfully Ebna is able to get away with it. Usually using his moves, and here come the down tilts, but it bears nothing. Oh, I was gonna say that forward tilt is okay, but I feel like that might have been a misinput there. He's able to get away with it. Interesting setup. Oh. You can't whiff it. I know you're trying to go for these hard reads, and he's going to go for a directional air dodge. Great delay in the recovery, but including the pivot grab. Person knows exactly what he's doing. And once again, Ebnet needs to be careful because Person is starting to read the fact that Ebnet's mashing every single time. Yep. Here's an air. Gets him off the stage here. What's going to be the edge guard? Says explosive flame. Ebnet showing the back. He's looking, I was going to say, he's looking for a back air. And that's a great move to have out there against Rob's Nair or his forward air. He's able to find a way around it. That gyro, he finally grabs it. So hopefully he gets a follow-up in return. You can't keep whipping these smash attacks, Ebnet. You're just oh, going to no. get punished again and again and again. Yeah, he has, he's got to be a little bit more cautious with that. Side B, that's going to be some extra mileage for Person. Here it comes. That Nair catching him out. Ebnet needs to be careful. The jab once more. Oh, God. Person. He's in firm control right now. You're seeing Star Ebnet starting to feel the nerves that the down there takes it. That's going to be a tough one there for Ebnet because at this point, right, like, the person had already adapted to the fact of how teleport works. It's the fact that you still have a frame data where you're not invincible and you're still teleporting to the ledge. You're still teleporting in general. Uh, Ebnet had the right idea, right? Like, I have to go from this recovery, but at this point, um, I said it all comes down to mix-ups. He had the right stuff, right? Like, he was going for Nutria. He was going for the setups that you would some, sometimes see from Valtatus. The problem was, like, you have to condition your opponent to start falling into your moves to get stocks, to get kills, to get games. And we did see how Nair worked well for Ebnet. It comes down to back air, the grab game, and the spacing of the control game. Like, when, when Ebnet was an advantage, he was mm -hmm. doing such a great job. He was pressing it. He forced Person into a really uncomfortable position. But the problem was is that he starts to lose it from his nerves, and then Person was just able to capitalize easily. Like, we saw multiple times where Ebnet would use an unsafe move multiple mm -hmm. times. We saw that Eb smash, that whiffed Eb smash, cost him two stocks. Yeah. That's definitely going to be one of those things. Well, hopefully, uh, Ebner kind of shucks it off. He does have loser side of the bracket, so he's not out just yet. Uh, coming up next is Slicer versus Roz Um I have seen Roz uh quite a few times at a couple Smash Fests that I've been to or that I've just seen him at in general. I don't know his exact area of the region here in SoCal. I can tell you that Slicer is from San Diego. That's all you got? Yeah, that's all <laughs> I got, man. I mean... I like a nice pause. I'm like... <laughs> I would, I, sometimes I have enough information, but other times I don't. Uh, let's see. So Roz Mikazi actually is from this general area. He is from the Downey area, so he's very, uh, very much a local to this area, of course. He's been, in, he's been a Peach Main since Brawl, and honestly, he's, in a oh, he's, a right. fan, yeah, he's a fan of the grind. And uh, let's a brief look at his Twitter bio here. Uh-oh. Look him up. All right, yeah. So for Slicer, uh, of course, like I said, he is from San Diego. He is actually a graphic and video editor and a Twitch affiliate, so you guys can follow him on twitch.tv forward slash 1313. Uh, uh, Slicer 1313. I like his tag. Yeah, I think it's a reference to Star Wars, I feel. Uh, looking, at the, looking at his banner, man, he looks like a certified Mario man, but we'll see, man. We'll see how things go. So that's a brief introduction of the players we are seeing on the stream. Uh, good stuff to Ross Mikazi. Looks like he has coffee, man. Sometimes you need that, a little bit of caffeine in your blood just to give you a little bit more. Oh my gosh. Uh, uh, that's looking here at bracket. Uh, I guess we have. Let me see. Let me refresh this bracket here. I do see Mr. R versus Marvel has yet to have been played. Of course, the bracket for these two, they, it does feature players like Mei Mei, Twerk Master, and Umeki. Um, 
So those are some pretty solid names in in this bracket. All right, yeah. So Mr. R does have to fight uh, Marvel. I think that might be coming up next here on stream. Uh, he does have Seller and Ant in his bracket, but oh, enough Slicer. of Slicer. Yep. You're uh, wrong. Oh, you snake! No, he's You're got wrong. Mar he's got he's got Mario in his Twitter banner, man. That man has robbed me. I trusted me. you. 